Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Young Twan. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make some R&B samples like Nami. Just before we get into this video, make sure you run up my IG, link will be in the description. Also leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to join the family and the community we're building on this channel. Also, I wanna start interacting a lot more with you guys and I actually wanted to start a Discord. So if anybody kinda has like experience setting up Discords and stuff like that, hit me on IG, I would definitely benefit from your help. But yeah, regardless, a Discord will be coming very soon. And on there, we'll be able to kinda like network and just interact with each other it would be really dope so yeah now let's get into the video so i had downloaded this came one one shot kit and i wanted to try it out so i picked these like roads one shot <laughs> So as you can see, I have like this very simple volume automation just to kind of like duck down the sound. And to that, I simply added an Abbey Rose Chambers uh, reverb from Waves and an EQ cutting the lows out. <laughs> then I added this Jazz Brushes texture from the Nami One Shot Kit. I added a simple EQ just to kind of cut some of the highs out. Then I routed this texture to the same mixer track. Then I added this texture, I'm pretty sure from a XY Nothing one shot kit and I pitched it down 100 cents so that it matches the key of the sample. Here's what it sounds like. And to that, I added a portal with the time-lapse preset. I turned the mix down quite a lot. I added this half-time, turning down the mix to like 78%. I put this bandpass narrow EQ to cut some of the highs and some of the lows. And I added this shaper box with a panning automation, kind of to, you know, pan it from left to right. So if I turn on the effects, here's what it sounds like. I forgot to say, since with the roads, we're going five semitones lower on the second chorus, I did the same thing here. As you can see, I have it pitched down 100 cents and I made this unique and pitched it down 600 cents. Then I went back and they came one one shot kit and I picked this one shot. But then what I did, I reversed it and added this volume automation so that the volume slowly starts like rising up. to kind of ease the transition between the two chords of the roads and just the whole sample. So this is what we got so far. The next thing I did, I went into contact and I picked this Scarby Rick and Backer bass. I got this Tweedman preset and I went and played this bass line. So yeah, I'm just following the root notes, but I added an effect rack with this basic and plus enhancer preset and also an EQ to cut a lot of the highs out. I really wanted to keep those very like gritty lows. And with the effects, here's what it sounds like. I added this quick little X white nothing run. And then I found this vocal chop that I pitched down 200 cents again so that it fits the key of the sample. Here's what it sounds like. So that sounded cool, but I mean, I don't know. I wasn't really vibing with it, so I reversed it. And then I went ahead and added a bunch of effects. I first added a pitch wheel to pitch it up one whole octave. And I went in this timber section right here and I pitched the timber all the way down. So I'm pretty sure this is kind of like a foreman knob. So I have the pitch all the way up and the foreman all the way down, just it kind of gave this cool effect. I added the same room reverb from Waves as the one I added on the roads. A bandpass narrow EQ to kind of get rid of some highs and some lows. Another EQ to get rid of some more lows and another EQ to get rid of some more lows and here's what it sounds like reversed and with defects so it doesn't sound so so amazing but with the rest of the sample you'll see it sounds tough
Next up for a B section, I wanted to add like a counter melody. So I went into arcade. I went in this poolside lazy luxury preset bank or whatever. And I played this B5 right here. Here's what it sounds like. So it was a really cool synth counter melody, but I wanted to add some effects to it. I first added this delay memory brigade from Arturia with the 1.8 delays preset. I then added this tube tape preset in effect rack where I turned the mix down to around like 70%. I then added the same room reverb from ways that I added on the vocals and on the roads. And I added this EQ to kind of cut some lows out. The reason why I use the same room reverb on all three tracks is because I'm aiming to make the vocals, the roads, and that counter melody to sound like they're played in the same room so that it sounds very cohesive and that it sounds like it fits and blends well together so with the effects here's what it sounds like So then I arranged the sample and I rendered it out and I added these final effects. I added a compressor from Waves, the pre-child compressor, just to kind of glue all the elements well together. Then I added this spin from Clevgram with the Blurry Room preset where I turned the mix down to 9%. And finally, I added a Goodhurst Wow Control where I turned the mix down to 13%. I used the Good Cassette preset and I turned down the coloring and the saturate a little bit. And here's the final sample. <laughs> So yeah, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That's it from me today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.